Two of Dallas's top public officials tonight are asking Atmos Energy to speed up removal of a dangerous and decaying cast iron pipes in North Texas. Now, the call to action comes in the wake of a news aid investigation into what lies beneath the streets of Dallas and Tarrant counties. Our Brett Ship joins us now with the latest on that. Brett? Gloria and John, ordinarily, it's the job of the Texas Railroad Commission, the agency that regulates oil and gas in Texas, to ensure that pipelines are safe. But in the case of decaying cast iron pipes still in the Atmos system, it's Dallas County Judge Clay Jenkins and Mayor Mike Rawlings who tonight say they want Atmos to take aggressive action to protect the public as News 8 investigates. I immediately called Atmos the next day. That's Dallas County Judge Clay Jenkins' response to what he had just seen last week on News 8. The Mendez family of Dallas, who will forever wear the physical and emotional scars of surviving a gas explosion that ripped through their home in September of 2011. Just feet from their demolished home, an 80 year old cracked and leaking cast iron gas main. That section of pipe is just a fraction of the more than 800 miles of decaying cast iron pipes still under the alleys and streets in the Atmos, Texas system, the vast majority of it in Dallas County. Due to a series of explosions and deaths, the federal government began recommending the removal of cast iron pipes back in the 1970s. Jenkins says what got his attention was News 8's interactive map on WFAA.com pinpointing 2,300 cast iron leak repairs in the Atmos system in the past four years. It's my opinion that um, Atmos needs to provide us with conclusive evidence that this pipe is safe and failing to do so, they need to remove it from the ground as soon as possible. Jenkins says he has been in almost daily contact with Atmos Energy bosses over the past week, negotiating a plan to expedite removal of cast iron from the ground from 20 miles last year to 50 miles this year. And I wanted to know what the plans were uh, for replacement of that pipe, and I wanted to know if it was actually being uh, dug up and tested in the various neighborhoods of Dallas County and I wanted to see an aggressive testing uh, protocol in place until the pipe could be removed. Dallas Mayor Mike Rawlings has also been involved in the dialogue and says he wants the city to coordinate with Atmos to speed up pipe removal. You know, there's a lot of things that go on in our streets all the time. Is there some way that the left hand can help the right hand in getting this accomplished? Atmos today issued a statement saying, quote, we have been working with the city of Dallas, Dallas County, and the city of Fort Worth to clarify our pipe replacement program for 2013 and beyond. And Atmos says it will spend $25 million to replace cast iron pipe, doubling the amount we spent in 2012. The gas distribution company in Houston, Intex, replaced its entire network of cast iron pipes in the early 90s. Judge Jenkins says the citizens of Dallas County should not have to wait decades more for Atmos to do the same. And whenever there's a risk of harm to uh, the citizens of Dallas County, uh, then I feel compelled to, to uh, speak up for the citizens of Dallas County. While the Texas Railroad Commission has cited Atmos for not having a cast iron pipe replacement program, the commission has declined to discuss with us its concerns or plan of action. As for the cast iron concerns in Fort Worth, Mayor Betsy Price says Atmos Energy has assured her her residents are in safe hands. Brett Ship, Channel 8 News. All right, Brett, we have that interactive map posted for you right now, WFA.com. You can type in your city, zoom down to your street to find out which pipes have been repaired near you.